The moment that I felt touched by God, that I experienced Him inviting me to become His spouse, inviting me to become a sister, I was on July 25th, 2008, and I was sitting in the Adoration Chapel. I was actually kneeling in front of Him and in the Eucharist, and I asked Him, Jesus, what do you want me to do for you? And He responded in a way that I never imagined. And he asked me in a very strong but gentle voice, or he told me in a very strong and gentle voice, I want you to be my spouse. I want you to be a sister. And I immediately responded with, no. What, what, what are people going to think of me? I immediately thought of, what am I going to have to give up? What am I going to have to um, do uh, in order to become his spouse, in order to become a sister? And I was really afraid. And he he calmed my fears. He he, I could see him in the Eucharist, looking at me, asking me, um, or telling me, "I want you to be my spouse because I I created your heart, and I know exactly what you want, I know exactly what you desire." And with his voice and what he said to me, it totally calmed the fear that was in me. And I, I knew that I wanted to do what he wanted. Um, and so I responded with, yes, I want to be your spouse. I want to be a sister. And he asked me, do you trust me? I said, yes, I trust you. And then I left the Adoration Chapel that day feeling so joyful, so joyful and so at peace knowing that he was calling me to be his spouse, that he was calling me to be his. I started making a, I made a schedule for myself and the schedule included going to a holy hour and going to mass every day. And I was doing this, I was doing it with friends and pretty soon that school year ended so that was the end of my sophomore year at the University of Nebraska and I was going into my junior year and I had a whole summer in between my sophomore and my junior year to live out the schedule. But this time I was living it out by myself. I didn't have my friends around to encourage me to go to Mass or to encourage me to make that holy hour. Um, I, I was at home, living at home for the summer, and I just made it a point to do that on my own. And with God's grace, I did it. And I was going to my holy hour every morning. I was going to Mass every morning. And my spiritual director during that summer said, when you go to the chapel, when that you go to the Adoration Chapel, don't take anything with you, just receive. Just receive what He wants to give you. And so I went and I just received. I just knelt before Him in the Eucharist and I experienced Jesus as being real. I went into my junior year at UNL knowing that He was calling me to, to be His, to be a religious sister, to be a spouse. And it was from there that I started to discern where is he calling me? And with the help of um, uh, Sister, Sister Mary Michael, um, I was able to get really good advice to, start, to continue to pray, to continue to have that schedule of going to Mass daily, receiving the sacraments, um, praying in front of Jesus, talking to Mary, who was close by me, and uh, I was able to um, discern that then I was being called to the School Sisters of Christ the King. And that's when I started to make moves towards our community and doing things to intentionally put myself in their company to receive the joy that they had and to um, experience Jesus with them. And from there, I entered. A year later, after that initial invitation on July 25th, I entered then in August of 2009. 